killed. Born again. Change of bag. Contact. Come. Right. Shoot. Hey guys, it's Kyle again, and welcome to Modern Warfare 3 Season 4. As usual, we got a bunch of new stuff. The name is bugged, it's not called Molten Obsidian, but this is what the camo is that we're going to get at the end of the season. The aftermarket part turns the M4 into a 50 caliber rifle. I don't think it one shots like a sniper, but it's going to be very strong. You've obviously got the new DLC maps, you've got Paris 24-7. This map plays very well. I'm loving that map so far. You've got two new DLC guns, you've got this new SM. MGA. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but obviously we have the Car 98K Maximum Rifle. It's back. It's pretty much the same as the Modern Warfare 2019 version. It's not a hit mark machine. It's very good, and they have some good DLC camos this season. But as always, with the start of each season, we're going to be covering the Battle Pass variants. Today's video is on the Hexocore variant for the BP50. This one looks pretty good in game. It looks a bit more golden than yellow in game. You get it instantly in the Battle Pass when you buy. It. I'm not buying the black cell this season. I don't think the variants look good enough for me to buy it. But the battle pass variants, they do look good regardless. I'm going to show you some of these good looking variants. Like this one. Here's a decent one. We got a Moors variant. This one's a bit meh, but it, at least it covers the whole gun. This one's decent. This one's decent. I like this one. We got a longbow variant. This one actually looks pretty good for an LMG. Obviously, you've got the Kan 8K variant, Sidewinder. This one's a bit meh, but it's okay. Okay, MTZ, Rival 9, the new SMG, and the Tier 100 variant. There's also a new event that's going on right now. I'm going to explain it more in-game, but you collect DNA like it's kill confirm tags in-game, and the final reward is this new variant. And this variant looks very good as well. And yeah, we're just going to get into some gameplay. And as always, guys, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more, because we'll be covering all of the variants and all the content this season, especially the Kai 98K. I've got a bunch of videos planned for the snipers this season this is the class i made around the variant this variant comes with the revenger kit it turns the bp50 into an smg it's nice that they made a variant out of this the only things I changed was the laser and the suppressor, but that's pretty much it. These are the perks I always use, this is the vest, and yeah guys, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is what the variant looks like. It's yellow and black, it looks a bit more golden, but on certain maps it does look more yellowy than golden, but it looks very good. I probably already said this in the class setup, but this thing comes with the aftermarket part for the BP-50. This thing feels so good, man. So there's a lot to talk about with this season. It's a very good season, once again for content. This is the new Paris map, this map plays really well. Honestly, they've genuinely not made a single bad DLC map. There's some that I don't like, but they've genuinely not made a single bad DLC map. There's another two maps that are brand new, and then the Das House remake. I'm going to go ahead and guess that the Das House remake is for the Vortex mosh pit, because they're bringing that back again, I think. They're doing another Vortex event at some point this season. For those of you wondering what the DNA strands are, people are dropping when they die. It's part of the first event for this season. Basically, you just DNA from people after they die. I don't know. I've probably already shown this in the intro, but I don't know how many of the rewards you've got to actually get to get the variant. I don't know. But yeah, this season's packed with content. The Kai 98 k feels amazing. I'm going to make a lot more sniping videos this season. What do you guys think of this variant? I've had a quick look at the Battle Pass variants as well. This is a very good season for the Battle Pass. Not good for the Black Cell. I will say this season. If we're being brutally honest. Completely honest. The Black Cell variants for this season, they look the same as the ones from last season, but they've just got green glowy parts of it. 
Like certain variants have a green magazine, I just it's not worth it this season. I have been saying I'll buy the Black Cell if the Sniper variant in it is good and the K98K variant in the Black Cell don't look that great but regardless the Battle Pass looks very good this season. In regards to buffs and nerfs, but specifically Modern Warfare 3, nothing's really happened. I think it's just a bunch of SMGs for the most part. Thankfully, none of the snipers have been nerfed. Damn, this thing feels good. For those of you that are new around here, I'm going to be uploading variant videos like this all season. We're going to be covering all the event variants and camos. All of the camels you can unlock for the DLC guns. Some of these camels you can get. There's two for the k 98 k that look very good, really good. It's going to be a very good season. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next video.